I'm going to show you really quick how I fixed my auto choke uh, lever. It had gotten into a bind on my Briggs & Stratton model uh, 6.75 horse. This is an older Troy build I've had for several years. It's a 675 series. Um, it has the auto choke. Uh, before I last night when this happened to me yesterday I actually wound up taking apart the carburetor and cleaning it out really good it wasn't that dirty and I drained all the gas and put fresh gas in it still my problem wasn't fixed I didn't realize that I had a uh, my auto choke was in a bind so I've already taken the screws out there's two screws here in the front right here um, there's one screw here and one screw back behind the gas tank down there now there's three five sixteen screws right here to um, to undo the um, gas tank and it can fold back you're gonna want to take the um, this loose and it'll allow you to take the pull string out of the way and then it'll feed through the hole um, there's a 5 16 screw here for the dipstick. You want to be careful, especially see how dirty my dipstick is. You want to be careful when you're pulling that apart that you don't pull that out and get a bunch of dirt inside your engine. Okay, now under here, you'll see what you have is down inside here is a thermostat and it's a basically a spring and as the engine warms up it moves forward and what had happened with me is I was acting like an idiot when I got too much gra wet grass clumped up underneath my um, mower I just started banging back and forth and in the process of banging my wheels up and down I caused this to get jarred up underneath and it got caught pretty dang good up under here so what was happening is as you can see it doesn't jar well during normal normal motion this thing has like almost no clear here, let's get it let's focus a little bit better there is almost no clearance here not focused very well but as you can see right here where the coil is this bar goes up over and this thing needs to move freely so my things even bend up I'm gonna wind up bending it up just a little bit more so hopefully it doesn't do it again but now with that as you can see when this slides forward the choke comes off so when it starts in the cool position and as soon as it starts getting warm which will happen pretty fast right I, actually because see this is right on the exhaust so happen pretty fast and go wide open choke so that it'll allow it to run now the symptom that I was seeing when this was in the choked position while it was hot is I was watching this throttle just throttle 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 because it was sucking on the vacuum this vacuum cycle in here uh, on the intake that causes the throttle to work it's just going into a cycle and I'd of course try to mow for a little while and it would get too rich and die and it sounded like it was starving for gas really it was starving for gas and really air because it couldn't get enough airflow to actually run so that was the symptom and here was the problem is this auto choke um, last night I wound up rebuilding the carburetor it wasn't that bad put new gas in it none of that fixed it and I'm like what's going on and when I took it apart then I saw that this was bound up under here and I didn't realize how it worked <laughs> I actually had to put it back together go try it 
first thing this morning and it didn't work again. And I'm like, what is going on? What did I miss? Well, did a few more videos and realized, hey, this is a thing. It's supposed to be free. So there we go. That's my fix.